Workspace Trust is a security feature for VS Code that tries to keep you safe when opening a project from a potentially untrustworthy source, such as code that you downloaded over the internet. Now with Workspace Trust, when you open a new project, by default, it's going to open in restricted mode. And you can see that with the banner up here at the top of the editor, it's telling us that we're in restricted mode, and also down here in the status bar, also telling us that we're in restricted mode. Now you can sort of think of restricted mode as being the safe read-only mode for VS Code. So you can use this to browse through code from untrustworthy sources. You get features like the JavaScript and TypeScript IntelliSense here. That is going to be enabled. Um, but some functionality is going to be disabled. So some extensions are just going to disable themselves entirely if they can't run in a untrusted workspace. And then some editor functionality is also going to be disabled. Um, but you can still browse through your code safely. And you can oftentimes work in restricted mode in many cases. In this case, though, I'm noticing that this workspace uses ESLint, but I'm not getting any ESLint errors. So you can see I'm missing a semicolon at the end of this line, but ESLint is not actually kicking in. So to get ESLint running, I need to go and trust the workspace. To trust this current workspace, I can click on the Manage button up here, or I could actually go to the Command Palette with Control-Shift-P or Command-Shift-P and say Manage Workspace Trust and run this command. Now in this window, I can go and scroll down here and actually trust the current workspace. So if I click on Trust, you can see that those banners went away. And if I switch back to the TypeScript file here, you can see that ESLint is now kicked in as well. So before that extension was disabled, once we have trusted that workspace, now ESLint is loading and we get the error reporting coming from ESLint. You can also explicitly manage the list of workspaces that are trusted. So again, if I go to the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P and say manage workspace trust, run that command again. And if I scroll down on this page, there's a list of all trusted folders and workspaces down here. So I can go through this list and explicitly add things if I wanted to, add folders, or I could go and remove folders that are no longer trusted. Now, one trick here is that if I wanted to trust all projects that are under a specific directory, such as all of the projects that are under the projects directory here, I could just add that. And then any workspace that I open that's under that projects directory is automatically going to be trusted. So that's a quick look at workspace trust in VS Code. Oftentimes, restricted mode is fine if you're just browsing through a code base. But if you do need a specific extension enabled, or you're working in a code base more extensively, you can go and trust it. Just remember that you should only actually trust your current project or workspace if you trust where it came from.